focusing on what we're doing and what Kel wants to do. And you know, I sat down with him yesterday and we mapped out all the options. And I said to him, look, I think maybe you should move to 154. And he said, well, my weight's really good at the moment. You know, I spoke to my nutritionist. We can make 147. I said, I know you can make 147, but can you make it well? And he said, yeah, we believe we can. And he said, but more importantly, I've been thinking, I'm not vacating my belt. So I said to him, yeah, but, you know, there's plenty of things to look at at 154. He said, no, no, I'm not vacating my belt. I said, then you've got to fight Earl Spence. He went, good. I said, that's a tasty fight. He said, good, I love the fight. He said, I want a unification, but that looks unlikely. So if not, make the Earl Spence fight. And I think that's great news for fight fans because people just presumed he wouldn't want to fight him. But let me tell you, Kel Brook has got the bit between his teeth and the fact that people are saying that, he's saying to me, make the fight with Spence. So if you're watching Errol Spence, you're going to get what you want. And we're going to have a great show in Sheffield. You're going to love the UK. And we've got a real, real big fight on our hands for the IBF World Weight Championship because, I repeat, Kel Brook will not vacate the title. I thought May man, May man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. See, this is why I fucks with Kel Brook, man. This is why Kel Brook is my main man. Y'all hear from Eddie Hearn's mouth, the promoter of Kel Brook, that we will be getting a Kel Brook and Earl Spence fight. Earl Spence being Kel Brook's mandatory back at welterweight. There was a lot of speculation of whether Kel Brook was going to go back to 147 or not. Clearly, the dude is fishing around for big fights. But, you know, just like I did a video not too long ago about, you know, Kel Brook is a guy who's never had a problem with facing mandatories. Now, I understand he's at a point in his career that he wants nothing but big fights since he's became a world champion. But look, man, when you were world champion and you had to go against your previous mandatories and they were lower, lower level of competition, you know, hey, you had no problem doing it then. So a lot of people saw him as possibly ducking Earl Spence and trying to say, oh, he's scared of Earl Spence. And this, that, and the third because he, he refused to go back down to 147. Some people even had the ridiculous notion of, oh, he left 147 to go up to 160 to fight a tougher fight in Gennady Golovkin. So he's scared of Earl Spence. Oh, but if he loses to Gennady Golovkin, he was supposed to lose. Doesn't matter. Fucking knockout loss is a knockout loss. I don't think Earl Spence would have broken the eye socket of Kell Brook like Gennady Golovkin did. So if you want to base it on fear, uh, that just doesn't make any sense to me. This dude went up to fought a harder, more stronger puncher who broke his freaking eye, man, and got his mouth all stitched up. And he ducked Earl Spence for that ass whooping? Whatever the fuck, man. But the fact is, man, the question has to be asked, you know, for those who still doubt the truth of Earl Spence, man, I'm already a believer. What he has done to Leonard Bundu and what he has done to Chris Algieri has convinced me that Earl Spence is definitely, definitely, he, he, he has the goods. You know what I'm saying? He deserves to be at the top level uh, at the welterweight division. Now, of course, the Kell Brook fight will be the fight that defined it for a lot of a lot of uh, people. And, you know, I understand if you, if you already kind of subscribe for that. But, you know, I just think that the way Earl Spence dismissed uh, Leonard Bundu and Chris Algieri by finishing them when no one else really could. Not even Manny Pacquiao could finish Chris Algieri. He knocked him down six times, but he couldn't finish him, you know. And uh, the power of Earl, Earl Spence is definitely special, man. That's why I, I grant him that he needs to be at that level. But him, if he gets in there with Kell Brook, man, this will be so fucking revealing, man. A lot of people just give Earl Spence the eye test, but if he gets in there with Kell Brook and can defeat the caliber of, of a Kell Brook, Man, this would be huge. It, it, you know, listening to Eddie Hearn, uh, this fight will go down in the Sheffield, UK. I don't think Earl Spence will have a problem with that, given that he is uh, the challenger here. So I don't think he'll have a problem with having to go over to the water in a hostile atmosphere. And he will have to take that title away from Kell Brook the same way Kell Brook did when he had to come on over here in a hostile atmosphere and take the title away from Sean Porter. So, man, this is going to be big, man. This is going to be like the fucking fight i am going to be hyping the shit out this fight man for all of you naysayers out there who had some shit to say about my main man kel brook oh he's ducking spence and this that and the third and he's ducking that fighter man kel brook always wanted the big fights he always wanted to fight the thurmans and and the, and the danny garcias and guys like that he's been screaming that shit for for a year for for over a year you know what i mean um hence is the reason why he wanted to take the Gennady golovkin fight he got his fucking respect because everybody else at welterweight was ducking him 
the same way a lot of the other fighters at World to Weight are ducking Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and the crazy part about it is that for a lot of the fighters at World to Weight, a fight with Earl Spence would be very fucking easy to make. You know what I mean? Like, very fucking easy. They all share the same promoter. They all fighting on the same networks, for the same promoters. I mean, for the same manager, and for the same promoters, all that shit. You know what I mean? It would have been real easy for Garcia or Thurman or any of the PBC fighters to easily make a fight with Earl Spence. But however, Kell Brook is his mandatory. And I understand from a business standpoint that Earl Spence is going to milk that position, you know, until he can. Because, you know, he, he did everything he had to do to go through the IBF for a world championship. And now he's finally there. Uh, guys like... Um, Constantine Ponomarev, who uh, he was supposed to fight instead of Leonard Bundu, backed away from Earl Spence for no apparent reason, just because his team didn't feel as though he was ready for Earl Spence. For all you naysayers out there, that should be enough proof. Anytime a guy says, look, man, this dude Earl Spence ain't nothing but the truth, and my fighter is not ready for him. Even though that fighter fought his way through the ranks to you know, fight Earl Spence for that number one contender spot, and he just chose not to. So... That's crazy to me, man. That's just so telling to me right there, you know. But uh, this is going to be big if it goes down, man. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Listening to Eddie Hearn, it's going to be hard for him to backtrack out of those statements. It's going to be hard for him or Kell Brook to backtrack out of this fight now that this statement is out there. You know, heads off to IFL TV. Um, if you want to see the full interview, the link will be in the description box, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I am turnt for this shit, man. Fucking Kell Brook. And Earl Spence. And if 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 granted none of the other 154 champions will fight Kell Brook, which I seriously doubt because Kell Brook has no title at 54 and he has basically nothing to offer a champion at 54 other than a big name. You know what I'm saying? But if he doesn't be able to get a fight at 54 um, and according to Kell Brook, if he can't get a unification fight at welterweight, then Earl Spence is the man. Don't see the PBC guys looking to go to Kell Brook. I think this fight is inevitable, man, and I am keeping my fingers crossed. Real shit. To the next video, Main Man, Main Man. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, Main Man 511. Facebook, Main Man, Main Man Boxing Forum. Google Plus, Main Man, Main Man. Yo, this is the fight. A straight up validation fight for Earl Spence. Another good validation fight for Kell Brook. If either of these men come out of this fight victorious, it would do great big things for their career going forward, and they will be well respected amongst the other welterweights. This is going to be off the fucking hook. Until the next video, peace out.